What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam for the PS2. I almost forgot what I was playing, but um, yeah, we're playing Downhill Jam, and I'm going to keep talking about computer stuff because I'm in the middle of something, and I'm getting a little annoyed, so I'm going to do this commentary right now instead of working on that to get my mind off things. So that stupid Dell computer, you know, I was talking about for the past two episodes, like, Oh yeah, I love it. it. Has a lot of memories. Well, it's really just getting on my nerves right now, and I kind of got on my own nerves because I realized a, a solution to a problem that I could easily fix. So, I have a problem with the computer. The screen is completely broken. I can't distinguish anything, and the only time I can have the external monitor um, actually like show image is if I'm on the um, the boot menu, which is handy. I'll tell you that right now. Or the um, the actual login, like safe mode, will have it in, have the display on all the time. But as soon as I boot regularly, it does not show the monitor, and it doesn't let me. Doesn't let me choose the monitor. And luckily, it started up this time, so hopefully, I can get it to work once I'm done this. But what I what I wanted to do was. I was thinking, well, if I can just log in normally on the laptop, then I can get to the desktop and um, get to the monitor, you know, press the function, F8, whatever it is, and I'll be golden from there to, to uninstall anything that I need to uninstall to, to make things work easily. Because um, there is a lot of shit on that computer that I need to get rid of, and I have malware bytes installed. I got that far, but then my computer just kept shutting off and blue screening, so... I'm slowly but surely getting there. But then I realized I was looking up on um, on Google. I was think because I can't see on the laptop screen at the normal boot, and I can't choose a user. I have three users on there for some reason. I was the only one using the laptop, um, and I didn't know if I could like click on it with the mouse pad and just guess. They all have passwords on them, and I do know the passwords luckily. And my computer just shut off, so. There goes my one chance of doing that when I get done this, so it's gonna happen eventually, so I'll have to fix that when I'm done. So I didn't even think about it, so I'm just Googling, I'm like Windows XP, how to log in without um I got that far, how to log in, and then I saw the search um suggestion automatically. I'm like, wait a minute, if I can just go into safe mode and make it log in automatically without a password or any user selection then I don't even need to select the user or p type in any passwords and I felt so stupid and that's what I'm trying to do right now is I'm gonna try to do that so when I automatically log in I can just go into the um, stupid whatever and uh, put the external monitor on so that's what I'm working on right now, and it's getting really annoying because it just keeps restarting because it's failing. And I, yesterday, I it failed more often because I guess I put a I must have put some bad RAM in there. I have like five sticks of DDR1 laptop RAM. I just happened to put one in because I was like, oh whatever, I don't know what one this is. They all work, just I don't know what happened with the one that I put in. But I tried a different stick today, and it's working, not. You know, it's not working good, but it's working a little better. It's sometimes letting me log in and sometimes just kicking me out. So, still struggling. But, I'm gradually getting there, I guess. I don't even know what I want to accomplish. Obviously, I can't do anything unless I replace the screen with it. But just having the thought in my head that I fixed it would be kind of nice to just go back to and view the files easily. I don't know, it's just, it's a pain in the ass, it's a big pain in the ass, and I can't use the hard drive to boot from, because you can't boot from a USB um, to SATA or IDE, it just doesn't work that way, Windows doesn't like that, so I can't do that, if that's what you were thinking, I can't do that, so, been a, been a, a really weird couple that's been about 45 minutes of me trying to work on this. It's been cool, but it's getting up to the point where it's not so cool and it's getting annoying. So, I'm just uh, hoping that this will help me soothe the pain, you know? 
I don't remember what goal this is. I think this is a, a point challenge. Is it a point challenge? I don't even know. I think, no, it's a destruction challenge. The clearance sale one. Yeah, this is, this is kind of stupid. Yeah, I don't know. I think I did it. I think I got gold on this, believe it or not. But that requires a little bit of weirdness. That is good Pepsi. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it, but the cherry vanilla Pepsi tastes almost like Pepsi Jazz. It's kind of nice. It's kind of kind of nice. Speaking of Pepsi Jazz, I have a bottle of that. Um, I've got a glass bottle limited edition in my fridge right now from 2006 that I'm gonna drink on my birthday because you know that's the day I want to fucking die from rotten soda. But I love Pepsi Jazz. I'm a huge believer in the Pepsi Jazz. And, uh, I can't wait to to drink it again. Hopefully it tastes okay. I mean, people are drinking Crystal Pepsi from the freaking early 90s. I think I can survive a 10-year-old soda. So. Oh, I got bronze. Never mind. I guess I didn't. Maybe maybe I just restart. I don't even know. I don't even know. This, this game is just getting gradually stupider. And it's not fun. I, I have been having a little bit less fun with this game ever since I got this far because the levels just keep on going. It doesn't stop. I don't know when I'm going to be able to stop playing this fucking game. I don't want to do a 50 part series of Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam. But whatever. I guess I'll just continue on doing my thing because that's what I'm doing. I was going to start 2X this week, but I kind of just wanted to get more Downhill Jam done because... The sooner the better. We got a cool new board. The the Spooky's actually really cool. I started using that more often. It's got a lot of good turning and speed and balance. So, yeah, good times. Good times are ahead. So, I got uh, I got some pretty good news from work today. I got some pretty decent news. I was told the statistics that I... My statistics for uh, my, my database entry from January to October, this October, this, this January to this October, um, I processed 160,000 items in the database alone, not even um, accounting for anything else like in um, our, che our check imaging um, program, nothing like that. That was just in our database entry for uh, in 10 months. Not only is that insane, my error rate, it, I can, I'm allowed 710 errors, I think, before I am written up. So out of the 160,000, I'm allowed 700. That's the, that's the math behind it. Um, I only got 11 errors, and not all of them were even in the database. 11 overall errors at my, at my job, just overall, not just database. So. Out of those, I probably only had like five database entry errors. That's pretty freaking insane, you know? I don't know. It, it made me feel pretty good about the job I do. Seeing the numbers kind of puts my, my qualms at ease, you know? So, that, I thought that was really cool and, you know, it, it makes me feel better that, you know, I, I feel like I do a good good job as it is, but knowing the numbers, you know, reflect that, it's pretty pretty comforting. Gotta say, very comforting. And uh, I'll continue to do my best, no matter what. And I'm not gonna, not gonna stop because I'm gonna get cocky, you know. I feel pretty good about the job I do, and I'll continue on doing a great job. Because I'll always think I'm doing a good job. Because I'm the best around. Just kidding. I'm not. I'm not that cocky. I'm just. I like my job, I like the job I do, I'm proud of myself, and uh, I'm pretty happy that people acknowledge that at work, I do a pretty good job. So, always strive to be your best, don't ever sell yourself short. If you think what you're doing is the best, then, you know, all the power to you. I feel as though I could do more, but physically I cannot, and mentally I probably cannot. So, I have to, I have to... I have to settle with what my mind and body can handle rather than what I want to do, you know? 
that that's when you know that you're you're a workaholic that you want to do more work but your body is saying no <laughs> how fucking crazy all right well uh thank you all for watching uh, again with the rambling it's all good i hope so see you guys next episode and later